Terry in Campbell, California. He writes to me and says, I think it's a guy. Terry, sorry if I got your gender wrong. <laughs> I recently replaced my Shinyata Research Venom RCA cables on my turntable, which is a Techniques SL1210G with Shinyata Research Delta V2 phono cables and immediately heard deeper and more tuneful bass and improved focus and clarity in the mid-range on upwards. This is the first time using dedicated phono cables. My question is this. I've read that phono cables have lower capacitance than many RCA cables. How do cables with lower capacitance benefit phono stages and phono preamplifiers? Well, much depends on your cartridge. So if you have a moving magnet cartridge, then capacitance can make a fairly big difference. Consider that a moving magnet cartridge, which runs into a fairly high impedance load of 47 kilo, uh, uh, K ohms, 47,000 ohms, has a capacitive requirement in order to properly roll off the top end without having a peak or a dip. Okay, so if you look at one of our phono preamplifiers, you will see on the back of it capacitor settings, 200 puff, 100 puff, 350 puff. That capacitive setting in uh, conjunction with the resistive setting, which should be on a moving magnet setting, 47 kilo, uh, why do I keep saying kilobytes? I think I have digital on the brain right now or something else. Man, I don't know what I have on the brain. Probably water on the brain. Um, <laughs> 47,000 ohms. Then uh, the capacitance is very important. So if you have a cable that adds 100 puff, 200 puff, you have just doubled that capacitive setting and you will have changed the roll off of your phono cartridge, and especially on the top end, that's going to make a big difference. You said that bass and all that, that's probably more the construction of the cable, which as we all know is very important throughout the entire range, but has likely nothing to do with capacitance. But that is an explanation of why capacitance would matter. Now, if you have a moving coil cartridge, now capacitance no longer matters. The reason for that is that a moving coil cartridge has a very low output impedance and a very uh, and works into a very low impedance load, like 100 ohms, 10 ohms, 20 ohms. So there, that small amount of capacitance is going to be completely negligible when you're running into that low, low impedance that we would normally have for a moving coil cartridge. So. Capacitance in a cable means nothing on moving coils, and it means a lot on moving magnet cartridges, and those are the reasons. Okay? Hope that helps. Thanks. Bye-bye.